Welcome to our journey. The purpose of this presentation is to optimize an office building in Abu Dhabi by using sustainable strategies and kinetic facade. In this project, we will demonstrate the following steps in order to achieve our goal. Abu Dhabi is the capital of the United Arab Emirates. The city of Abu Dhabi is located on an island in the Arabian Gulf of the Central West Coast. Most of the city and the Emirate reside on the main line connected to the rest of the country. As of 2020, Abu Dhabi's city had an estimated population of 1.48 million. Site Location The office building plot located in Abu Dhabi, Arrauda area. Plot number W69 near to Sheikh Rashid bin Saeed Street. The selected site is located between two main streets and surrounded by residential area, government building, hypermarket and shopping center, which will allow us to gain points in the green building rating Stidama. Climate Analysis The hot period in Abu Dhabi continues for 8 months from April to November with the main temperature above comfort zone level, while the cool period continues for 4 months from December to March with the main temperature within comfort zone. Only in January, the main temperature drops below the comfort zone. In general, the wind direction in Abu Dhabi is from northwest during the year, except in the winter months. The wind direction is from the west-northwest direction, as is shown in the wind wheel. Kinetic facade The building envelope has significant function as a boundary between the interior user and the environment. In the recently developed technique, the design of exterior service of the building is fulfilling a strategic role to comply with the complex requirement of energy saving, environmental aspect, solar shading control techniques. Building facades are the appropriate space for modern experimentation with more and more intuitive systems and technology field, like for example, the kinetic facade which consists of moving surfaces according to environment, visual and physical conditions while maintaining the whole strategy integrity. In this case, we used a typical architectural office layout which was rendered in IAS virtual environment to provide a 3D representation of the proposed G plus 1 office building. The building spans 25 meters in width and 11 meters in length. The total built up flow area of the space is 537 square meter and the total glazed area for the building is 20%. The U values of the walls, roof, and windows are within the threshold values as mentioned in the Abu Dhabi International Energy Conservation Code. The external wall was constructed using standard industrial components such as blockwork and plaster. The roof floor slab was constructed with a combination of concrete tiles, insulation, membrane, screed and concrete deck. Efficient case In determination of the optimal orientation from the north, it was concluded, based on the annual total system energy, that the building with the entrance door facing the north proved as the best orientation of the building. The U values of the walls and roof were redesigned to be within the threshold values as mentioned in Istidam. Pearl Writing System, Section RE2, Cool Building Strategies. The external wall U value was improved to 0.2875 Watt per square meter Kelvin and the roof floor slab was improved to 0.1253 Watt per square meter Kelvin. As tabulated, the total system energy reduced by, by a factor of 2.5% by complying with the green building system regulations of Abu Dhabi. Design concept and facade mechanism. We used a series of bifold 
louvers to regulate the solar gains and air temperature of the space while trying to meet the desired occupancy thermal comfort levels. The control logic for the number of hours that the lower panels will be either in open or closed position for each side of the building during the sunlit hours of a typical day were proposed by studying factors that will be discussed further in detail in the next slides. The kinetic facade traverses in a straight linear motion parallel to the vertical frame of the glazed window with the help of a slider crank mechanism. IES analysis the IES, we calculate the solar shading for the full year and the results represented as a percentage of service exposure during the year for the four sides of the building. We apply the kinetic facade in the south and west and east directions since the solar gain percentage varying from 50 to 75 percent during the year. While we didn't apply kinetic facade in the north direction because the solar gain percentage is less than 20 percent during the year. The strategy of the kinetic facade determined according to the altitude and azimuth angles in winter and summer and spring seasons. For the purpose of the study, we will work with the three scenarios in each season, selected at 9 am, 1 pm, and 4 pm. Based on the calculated angles, the kinetic facade will open and close as shown in the table for each season. Winter scenario the kinetic facade will be fully closed in the east direction at 9 a.m., while the kinetic facade will be fully open in the other directions. We can see that there is a reduction in the solar gain around 41% and reduction in the total system energy 21%. We switch off the air condition to check room temperature. We find that the room temperature within comfort zone in the both cases. The kinetic facade will be fully closed in the south direction at 1 p.m while the kinetic facade will be fully open in other directions. We can see that there is a reduction in the solar gain around 49% and reduction in total system energy 58%. We switch off the air conditioning to check the room temperature. We find that the room temperature within comfort zone in the both cases. The kinetic facade will be fully closed in the west direction at 4 p.m. while the kinetic facade will be fully open in other directions. We can see that there is a reduction in the solar gain around 44% and reduction in the total system energy 15%. We switch off the air condition to check room temperature. We find that reduction around 1.5 Celsius and the room temperature within comfort zone. According to the radiance analysis, for illuminance there is a reduction around 600 lux between base and optimum case in all three scenarios. We achieve 300 lux and it's matching with the minimum requirements of illuminance inside offices in UAE. Summer Scenario The kinetic facade will be fully closed in the east direction at 9 am, while the kinetic facade will be fully open in the other directions. We can see that there is a reduction of solar gain by 46% and a reduction in total system energy by 10%. We switch off the air condition to check the room temperature and found out that the reduction was around 1.32 Celsius. The kinetic facade will be fully open in all directions at 1 pm. You can see that there is reduction in solar gain of around 17% and reduction in total system energy of 4%. When we switch off the air condition, we found out that the room temperature has reduced by 0 0.77 degrees Celsius. The kinetic facade will be fully closed in the west direction at 4 pm, while the kinetic facade will be fully open in other directions. We can see that there is reduction in solar gain by around 45% and reduction in total system energy by 10%. We switch off the air conditioning to check the room temperature and found a reduction by 1.39 degrees Celsius. According to the radiance analysis for illuminance, there is a reduction of 250 lux between base and optimum case in all three scenarios. We have achieved 200 lux which is an acceptable level of, for illuminance for light duty tasks in offices. Spring Scenario The kinetic facade will be fully closed in the east direction at 9 am 
while the kinetic facade will be fully open in other directions. We can see that there is a reduction in solar gain by 64.23% and a reduction in the total system energy by 33%. We switch off the air condition to check the room temperature and found out there is a reduction of 3.06 degrees Celsius. The kinetic facade will be fully open in all directions at 1 pm. We can see that there is a reduction in solar gain around 36.04% and reduction in total system energy by 32.72%. When we switch off the air condition, uh, we found out that there is a reduction in the air temperature by 2.49 degrees Celsius. The kinetic facade will be fully closed in the west direction at 4 pm while the kinetic facade will be fully open in other directions. We can see that there is a reduction in solar gain by around 68.22% and a reduction in total system energy by 26.15%. Uh, when we switch off the air conditioning, we found that there is a reduction uh, by 0.88 degrees Celsius. According to radiance analysis for humans, there is a reduction of around 400 lux between base and optimum case for all three scenarios. We have achieved around 300 lux, which is an acceptable level of illuminance for offices in the UAE. Daylighting analysis There is improvement in the daylight factor and daylight illuminance in summer. The average daylight factor inside space reduced from 3.4% to 2.4% and the average daylight illuminance reduced from 633 lux to 447 lux. As well in the winter we get improvement in the daylight factor and daylight illuminance. The average daylight factor inside the space reduced from 3.4% to 2% and the average daylight illuminance reduced from 426 lux to 253 lux. PMV is an index that aims to predict the main value of voids of a group of occupants on a 7-point thermal sensation scale. Our goal is to reach neutral point. There is improvement in PMV value for the summer scenario. The average value of the PMV reduced toward the neutral point from minus 0.4 to 0.1. The point value While in winter, we got slight regression in PMV value. The average PMV value slightly increased from minus 0.8 to minus 1. In the spring, we got improvement in PMV value. The average value of PMV reduced toward the neutral point from minus 0.9 to minus 0.45. We simulate the CFD analysis for external wind in 21 June at 1 pm. The velocity and the pressure scales reduce as shown. PV panels The annual solar gain was simulated using SunCast in the IS virtual environment software. A solar gain energy value of greater than 140 megawatt hour was observed in the highlighted area. A 3D simulation showcases the location of the PV panels on the roof based on the area which receives the maximum annual solar gain energy. The simulated solar energy received by the PV panels is between 22 megawatt hours to 40 megawatt hours. The chart represents the PV analysis for the energy generated by the solar panels over the year against the total building system energy consumption for the efficient case model. Surplus electricity of 0.1795 megawatt hour was generated by the PV panels as shown in the chart for the whole year. With regards to the green building rating system, we evaluated the building against sustainable building development practices in Abu Dhabi, which is the Pearl Rating System for Estadama, which provides building design methodology for constructing and operating buildings and communities more sustainably. For the base case model, we achieved a Pearl Rating of 1 with a total value of 46 credit points. 
For the kinetic case model, we improved the pearl weighting to 2 with a total value of 63 credit points. That brings us to the end of our journey in the process of design and consultation of introducing kinetic facade and improving U values of external construction elements in improving the climate and comfort as well as adding renewables to reducing the energy consumption footprint of a typical office building. We would like to thank you for your time and attention. If anyone has questions, we would be happy to open up the discussion.